Uh, what's up guys and gals? Um, what we got going on here today, as you can see by the mess on the floor, I'm working on the other rocker panel. Um, I did sort of a half-ass patch on it a few weeks back because it's, it's just way too bad for me to stand anymore. Uh, but anyways, uh, I got that and I'll have to finish that up too, but I'm working on this back section here. I'm going to try to get it... I'm gonna try to get it done today. Um, uh, and I'm working with sheet metal. What I had went ahead and done is with this this particular piece here. What what you do is you kind of overlay it. You put it over your piece and you kind of sort of shape it to how you want it. And uh, you can actually. Uh, you can actually tune it in a little better as you're putting it on, but if you get your general shape, um, especially if it's not a show car and you just want it to be decent and look right, this is the way you can do it, just a little sheet metal, but you overlay it to get your general shape, and then you can tune it in a little bit later. Uh, but... Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to on and off this thing because there's an awful lot to do and uh, I really, it, it's just for it to all be on camera is a little weird, but uh, uh, I'm getting ready to actually cut this section out because that's where the worst part is, this section here. I'm getting ready to cut that out. That's what this is for. Um, there'll be a space here, but I'm going to work from the back up to this space. Um, I'll, and actually, I don't have, I don't have my, uh, one inch seam down at the bottom over here. Like I said, it was a quick, quick little, it doesn't have the one inch seam like this is going to have, but, uh, there's going to be welding on the back piece and then welding, of course, putting the sheet metal in getting it sort of shaped knocked into uh, submission um, like I say the the thing is is that you know I do this on a budget um, I, I should have enough sheet metal here to finish this back piece there's a little bit to do up in the very front of it but I'm gonna save it for maybe another weekend uh, but uh, anyways I just got I just got uh, the one day here to do this, uh, I'm gonna have to clean out from underneath the car real quick, clean up all that stuff. I'm gonna cut off this other piece, and then I'll uh, I'll show you what kind of a disaster is under here, and why I'm trying to save it is because I really like my car, and winter's coming up soon, and I'm trying to keep it from getting too bad, too fast. So uh, stay with me. And I'll show you the piece, bits and pieces as I go along. Okay, I got my uh, I got my little section cut out here. You can see how crappy it is. Basically, I'm gonna do this relatively quick, but it's this this piece will have the one inch seam that's supposed to be on it, uh, but. I'll have to weld up some of the back section to bring it down and then and then I will weld in this section. What I did was I cut it relatively straight right along here and then I already had my other piece uh, pre-shaped to the general shape I wanted. Um, I went ahead and measured where, where my one inch seam was going to be. Well, I, uh, I had laid it in there the way I wanted it, and then what I did was I marked the one end, and then I marked the other end, and I put a straight line on it so that I can, I can get it nice and straight. And I made sure I gave myself enough at the top to, uh, this will be underlapped. It'll go and be tucked under, and then I'll weld it. Uh, so that I'm not trying to weld a precision seam with with my little cheapy welder 
Um, it's just a little hard to do with that thing. If I had a $5,000 welder, then I could set it to where it would be perfect, and then I could just do a real seam. But, like I say, this, this, uh, this piece will be tucked under here and drawn up against and get it as tight as possible and then I'll run my welds down it and um, then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and after I get this welded up I uh, probably might do um, I think I'm going to wait until it gets all the way done before I actually do the body filler and stuff to smooth it out. I think what I'll just do is do a quick little thing of some rubberized undercoating on it for now. Or maybe just some, uh, just some of my uh, primer sealer and, and then that should actually get this part because... Yeah, if I use the rubberized undercoating, then that means that uh, it's going to be like the front piece. And what I'm going to have to do with that is kind of grind it some, uh, or heavy sand it with some uh, soft grinding discs to actually try to smooth it out. Which, which up on the upper part, which up on the upper part won't be that bad. Just kind of grind it down. I'll, I'll tune this up before I actually get to putting the body filler on it because it's it's not quite perfect. I'll have to I'll have to tune this up quite a bit, and there's still going to be some tacking that needs done and some hammering to get it in there and then and then that's the section that I'm actually going to worry about smoothing out is the actual curve of it because up underneath isn't going to be that big of a deal it's not that visible so anyways I'll have some more of this here in a minute well um, okay um, you can see kind of what I got so far. I know it's not the greatest. It's not some super spectacular job, but it will be solid and it will be the, uh, much nicer whenever it is finished. Like I say, this is kind of just the beginning. Um, I'm going to call it quits for this video and I'm going to call it quits for this project tonight um, there's still lots more to do there's some to do on the back side there on the back uh, there's some to do back here and there's still some up there that needs done and I also have to finish running my one inch um, I may actually go ahead and run a straight line and go ahead and actually make uh, cut a line out and just go ahead and insert an actual one inch so that one it's a little more stable and two it looks a little better um, although it's not gonna matter once it's all said and done and covered in the end it's it's gonna look right um, like I say back here there's lots of work that needs done um, I'll have to finish up that section there uh, which basically means I'll have to cut some of that rusty part out and kind of form form a piece to put in there but this is going to be like a, a multiple uh, day job it's not going to just be getting it done tonight um, actually the other side it actually took me an entire weekend and I started the very first thing in the morning I mean I got up at like 9 o'clock on Saturday worked the entire day on it and then uh, when whenever uh, uh, it was probably 4 o'clock in the morning and I still wasn't done and I went in went to bed and 
and then I got back up pretty early the next day on Sunday to uh, work on it and it took me pretty much all day Sunday so it was pretty much a two day job just to do one side but of course I'm working with sheet metal I don't have preformed slap it on here it goes you're done stuff um, it takes a little bit more work to actually build your own but uh, you know not everybody can go out and pay two hundred dollars for a rocker panel or whatever it costs for these I forget I looked them up they was stupid expensive um, so I decided I was just going to replace these ones myself. Um, well, guys and gals, that's going to be it for this particular episode. Um, I'll show you more as I get more done. Uh, I don't know when the next time is I'm going to be able to work on it like as with usual. I never really know. Uh, it depends on if I have a weekend off or not or, or what I'm doing on my day off. But... Um, But anyways, I, I thank you guys and gals for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe and uh, have a spectacular day or night, whichever one it is for you. Peace out.